What's up everybody, it's Nova, and today we're back with another Team Fortress 2 video on VR, and we have a little bit of some actually changes, not a little bit, but um, yeah, so let's get right into this video, this is Rocket Jumping 2.0. We also have melee weapons, as you can see, it's full collision, it's pretty fucking sick. But, um, I wanted to say thank you guys on the massive support on the videos. We are also moving over to Twitch. If you guys want to, to know the schedule, go down and it's going to be the first link in the description. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. From what I did in the first tutorial and kind of applied it. But that's not really, that tutorial is basically fucking outdated at this point. Am I right? So basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to efficiently rock jump correctly, if that makes sense. Now, it's basically the same thing as TF2 now, of where you have to jump, crouch, and shoot, just like I showed you over there. But it's a little bit different for getting momentum. You have to jump, crouch, and shoot, and also sway. You can't do the one-handing thing. You can, but it kind of doesn't really work as well as you would like. As you can see, I didn't make it up there. Let's go back up there and try it again with the two-hand sway. So if I try this jump with the two-handed sway this time, as you can see, I made it. The only difference that the one-hand sway and the two-hand sway uh, goes off of is that this does not give you as much boost as this. As you can see, I got higher. So it is a bit different. Actually, it is a lot different. So say, for example, I wanted to hit here and go off of there and go there. If I wanted to do that, it's going to be a little bit complex because I'm going to have to sway back and then hit wall and then hit over there. So let's try this. As you can see, I use that as a prime fucking example because they took out wall jumping. The way you do it is not how you do it anymore. It has full collision. So I can't, if I get up on this wall, I cannot shoot at all. I don't know if you guys hear that, but I cannot shoot at all. I'm clicking my controller. I cannot shoot at all. In the bat, in the old patch, you could shoot off of walls with collision, but now you have to get a little bit away from it. You can't. You have to get like a little good distance away from it for you to shoot at all on walls. So you can't just kind of like hug the wall like you could uh, back then. So you have to kind of get a little bit away from it. So if I'm here, right, up against the wall, I can't shoot. If I'm going back a little bit, still can't shoot. I have to get a little. I have to get about my hands length away from the wall and even some just to shoot off of the wall so it is a little bit different so if i do try this jump it's gonna take me quite a while as you can see it is still possible but you really have to kind of use your angles and kind of squeeze in i don't know if you guys saw that but when i did that jump i'm gonna play the replay right now as you guys can see when i did that jump i squeezed in a little bit and what i mean by squeezed in is i literally physically squeezed in my body so, my arms are out here. I moved my arms back to like my chest area. So it is, a, like it's very, it's just very, oh my god, it's just, <laughs> yo, we're outside of the map, I'm gonna die. Whoa, my bad about that. But um, it is a little bit different. And there is still some bugs that the, that the uh, devs have to work out. Also, shout out to everybody in the Discord on the dev side. We are really enjoying this mod. So, also the next thing I really wanted to kind of show you is uh, bee hopping. I'm, I'm going to give one more example before we go into bee hopping. If I go, I mean, ro ho rocket hopping, I don't know, bee hopping, I call it bee hopping. If I wanted to rocket jump off of this wall and go over to the rocks, I'm going to rocket jump in this direction directly behind me and then bounce off the wall. So in full motion, it kind of looks something like, see, I still can't hug the wall. That was a mistake made by me. It wasn't an example. I purely made that mistake. I didn't do that on purpose. But if I wanted to do this correctly, I'm going to rocket jump off and then rocket jump this way. I'm going to get farther from the wall than I naturally would in the old patch. And it is a bit confusing. But if I do want to get more acceleration, right, I'm going to use that wall and I'm going to get as far away as possible. I'm going to squeeze in. I'm not going to stick out. I'm going to squeeze in as far away as possible. I'm going to try to give this another good example because the first example was a flop, which is on my part, but the second example was pretty good. But we're going to try this again though. I want to get more leverage this way though. So to do that, I'm going to rock a jump and I'm going to turn my body. You're literally going to do the exact same thing that you do in game. You know how, you, you know how they say don't hold the forward button, like W. If you guys are an advanced rocket jumper, um, 
as so myself in regular TF2, don't hold W. That's like a one main thing that people have a problem with in the game is when you're strafing, you don't hold W. It's the exact same thing for this. You don't hold that forward button. Because if I don't hold that forward button, right? And I want to strafe. I'm going to literally just move left and right and move my head. That's it. I'm literally moving my head and strafing like that. Moving my head and strafing like that. That's one thing that people have to get down. So, um, to take the few tips before we move on to B hopping or rocket hopping, um, strafe, right? Always go left and right. Never hold W or forward in this case because we're on VR. Also, you cannot put your rocket up to the wall so be a little bit distance from the wall and then also use two hands when rocket jumping you can't use the one hand anymore so that's all the tips for just regular rocket jumping in, gen in general so now let's go into bee hopping bee hopping is a little bit more complex than usual but you still can do it but without like the regular rocket like you still it is possible but I think you can only get like what I want to say two in before you die, depending on uh, depending on the angle. Because if I do it like up and down this row, right, and I try it, like it's still possible, yes. But the amount of damage that I'm taking is okay. I can't even. The amount of damage that I'm taking is like really wild. But I'm gonna get back out here. I'm gonna go grab some more rockets and I'll be right back. So we're back. Um, I had so. Now to fully kind of, I guess, go over it all and how it works. It's the same thing as people do online of where it's just normal be hopping, but you're not shooting straight down. You're kind of shooting more away from you, but you're just jumping. You're not crouching. So, in hindsight, it's kind of like that, but it's more effective if you kind of use it in a manner of... In a manner of kind of like scooping. It's kind of like a scooping motion. Because what I basically do, I don't know, you guys can follow my instructions on this. But what I do is I scoop my rockets. So when I shoot, I scoop my rockets. So for example, if I'm going to boost, if I'm going to jump off and shoot this direction, right? I'm going to scoop and do it again. So I'm basically just scooping. But while we're doing that, at the same time, if this makes any logical sense, I'm scooping and I'm crouching. So I'm not just like, I, I don't I don't know how to really explain it, but I'm scooping. So like once I get the momentum, right? And I'm up in the air and I want to bounce over there, right? And just, I guess, look cool. I'm scooping and I'm crouching while doing it. So scoop, crouch, scoop, crouch, scoop and crouch. So in full perspective, see, it's not hard to do if you do it correctly. Yes, some people can do it fast. Yes, you can kind of get it down fast, but it is a little bit hard to do in a fast motion because of the air time you have. But if you want to do it like more strictly, you could just kind of, you could just kind of shoot directly behind you. But if you want to do, if you want to do it more of a distance and kind of like how regular people do it in the regular game, you can kind of shoot more behind you, but still be crouched. But it's more of a flick motion. It's more of a flick motion that you're doing with your arm instead of the scooping and crouching. I like the scooping and crouching because it is more efficient for me. So like, if I try my other rockets. Okay guys, I'm back. I got more ammo. But to give you two examples on which one is better, I say the scooping and crouching method because you're scooping and you can come back to the enemy instead of having to kind of like flick, 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 and waste more rockets that way. And it's not really as good, but it's not really as bad. But I like the scooping and crouching. Now I'm going to kind of give an example of both. So here's the flick method. And now here's the scooping and crouching method. As you can see, just through two rockets alone, two, I got over here. Over here. Already over here. So it's a bigger difference than uh the flicking but if you do want to do the flicking be my guest but i say the scooping and crouch method is the best thing for b hopping in this in vr since it is a bit different so but be my guest though but anyways guys i'm gonna leave you off with that has a warning streaming on twitch 10 uh not tonight um saturday 10 30 p.m uh central standard time
my schedule will be on my twitch channel so go check it out i'll be streaming mondays fridays and uh and um god i can't even think and saturdays so go check that out saturday 10 30 p.m will be my stream start time for mondays it will probably be seven or six i don't know uh officially and then also for fridays it will be a guaranteed probably like 6 30 ish so i don't fully know the times for that they may change they may not but if you want to keep up with that and want to go watch my stream you guys can just go to the link in the description go to my twitch channel check it out